this video is all about negative numbers in binary. Now, there's two main ways in which we would store negative numbers in binary. The first is called sine and magnitude. Now this is exactly the same as the way that we generally do things in decimal. It's easy to understand, but there's another method which we're going to look at called two's complement, and that has a lot of advantages. So, sine and magnitude. All we do is, instead of the uppermost bit representing a number like we would when we're representing positive numbers we instead say it just represents plus or minus so I have my 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 128 very very simple instead of having 128 I make this negative or I could make it positive it doesn't matter which so what we've got is we've got a number which might be 101 fill in the missing zeros and that is the number 5 number 5 so long as that is 0 if I make that a 1 it becomes negative 5 this is just the same as when we say plus 5 or minus 5. Very, very easy to understand. There is a slight problem though. It means that we lose a whole range of values. So here we can only represent from minus 64 to plus 64. It also means that we have two values for zero because we can have negative zero and plus zero. We can work around that, but there is a different way. That's what I'm going to show you next. Two's complement is a really simple system. All we have to do is make the most significant bit negative. Let me show you what I mean. In normal binary, I'm going to just do this with four bits. One, two, four, eight. So we can represent the numbers from one to 15. If these are all one, eight plus four plus two plus one is 15. In two's complement, we add a negative sign here so this column becomes minus 8 this means that to say 2 you say 0 0 1 0 that is equal to 2 to say minus 6 I'm going to say 1 so that's minus 8 no 4's we're gonna have a 2 and 0 so minus 8 plus 2 is equal to minus 6. Simple as that. Now this might seem a bit more confusing than sine and magnitude. However, it has some advantages. First of all, there is only one zero, which is zero, 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 zero. There is no other. That's the simple thing. The second thing is that addition still works with this method without any modifications at all. So, because of overflow, there's another video on that, what we can say is if we get this number, 1, 1, 1, 1, so 8 minus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to minus 1. We add 1 onto it. So we add 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. 1 and 1 make 0, carry 1. 1 and 1, 0, carry 1. 1 and 1, 0, carry 1. And then 1 and 1, 0. And then what we do is we just ignore that last bit. So minus 1 plus 0, sorry, minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 0, which is exactly right. That's completely what we want. 
The main thing people find difficult about two's complement is seeing how the positive number and the negative number relate to each other. So in normal maths, if we say plus two and minus two, this seems really obvious that one's positive, one's negative. To get from the positive to the negative number or back again in two's complement, we do something really simple. So I'm going to choose a number at random. I'm going to choose six. Now, if I want to put that into the two's complement, all I have to do is two simple steps. First of all, I flip all the digits like this, and then I add one. So I've flipped all the digits, we can forget about that, and then I'm going to add one, and then I'm going to do the addition here. So one and one is zero, carry one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, 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 one and zero. So we can see minus eight plus two is equal to minus six. Very, very easy. We can go back again. So if I start at the top here with minus six, So I'm going to go for minus six, one, zero, one, zero equals minus six. I'm going to flip all the digits. So instead of one, I'm going to have a zero. Instead of zero, ooh, I'm going to have one. One is going to go to zero and zero is going to go to one. There we are. I flip the digits. It's not equal to minus six anymore. And then I add one. So I do my addition. One and one is zero. Carry one. One. Carry nothing. One. So I can convert between positive and negative numbers really, really easily. Have a go and try some for yourself.